Hi everyone, I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company and I am happy today to work with one of our newest beads. This is the Disc Duo Bead. It's a two hole disc shape and it's a six millimeter bead. And I'm gonna be using it here for this Moon Glow bracelet. It's based on a design from our Fort Myers store from Val and it's working with mini duos and the disc duos. You can also do the same design which she did with round duos in the middle and regular super duo beads, but I changed it up a little Little bit. I'm going to be using, in addition to those two hold discs or the disc duos, I'm using my mini duo or mini duos in the white gray luster color. And the mini duos are just going to add a little bit more of a subtle effect than if you would use regular size super duos. So the mini duos are also new, so I figured I'd throw those in. Just to get a little hint of fall color in there in the brown, I threw in a dark pastel. Um, dark brown color of an OB and we're going to be working with that and kind of picking that up. I needed some 15 O's. We're going to go with silver lined crystal as we work with this here. Always a good color to have on hand. And then the Crystal Labrador Fool in the 11 O, which is a check coating on the Mayuki CB. That Crystal Lab Fool is also the button clasp that I've chosen to use here because the button clasp has that bright silver and so does the Crystal Lab Fool as opposed to some of the Duro Coat or the Mayuki silver colors which have a little bit more of a yellowish tint to them. In addition to our beads that we're using, we're also going to be using some wildfire beading thread about five feet. I'm using the green color. I could have also used the black color here. Those would have been my two options to use. But you don't see the thread at all, so that doesn't really matter which color you're using. It is a two needle project, so we're gonna be using two size 10 needles. And because of that, we do get to put our clasp closure on right away, which is very nice because when you're done with your project, you're done. I have a plier sitting here to flatten out some thread in order to thread my needles easier. I'm working on a bead mat and I have some super new glue and a thread burner handy to cut my thread as well as to glue down the ends of my project. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to have all of our beads laid out and work with these awesome disc duo beads for the Moon Glow bracelet. So to get started, I have put one needle on either side of my piece of thread. And this thread is about five feet long that I want to work with. And with both needles on, because it is a two needle project, we get to put our clasp on right away, which is great. And I'm going to put a mini duo in the center of my clasp. So I'm gonna pick up one of those mini duos and I'm really going with this kind of fall monochromatic, I can wear it with everything tones. I have the mini duo on one through each needle and I'm gonna push that back to the end of my thread. I'm then gonna put on my cup button face down and pull that through. So that way that seed or that super mini duo just hangs out right there in the middle. When I come to the outside of the cup button here to the top of it or the back of it, I'm going to add three of my 11 O's here in the Crystal Lab full color and let those drop down next to my clasp. Now I get to start my pattern, which is always the part that is more fun. And for the pattern, I'm gonna be using the Disc Duo and I'm really just using the O-beads just to create kind of a little look of brown. I put an O-bead on either needle in that uh, pastel dark brown and then I'm going to go through my round duo. I'm going to be going through the round duo and it really doesn't have a side to it so it doesn't matter which needle goes through which hole and I'm going to bring my needles through the disc duo. Give a nice tight pull. And you can see there the OB just kind of decorates the side. Once I'm coming out of the disc duo I want to repeat with an OB on the right needle and an OB on the left needle. And then I'm gonna use an 11 0 after that. Let those all drop down next to your clasp. So here's gonna be the starting pattern. It's the disc duo that just has the um, O beads there on the side. To start now using our minis, to use our mini duos, we are going to be using a mini duo on the right needle and a mini duo on the left needle. 
I'm then going to bring my needles together and put a mini duo on each side, one on the left and one on the right. And then I'm going to separate back out my needles and do a mini duo on each side and let that fall down next to my clasp or next to my beads. So that's going to be the middle section of our bracelet. It's going to repeat and be very easy here at the start. I'm going to do this right about six and a half inches from me because I want about a six and three quarter inch bracelet. And all I'm going to do now is repeat that pattern. So an 11 O goes on each side, followed by an O bead, followed by a disc duo. Separate out my needles and add an O bead on each needle and also an 11 O on each needle. Let that fall back next to your project. And we're going to continue then adding that same pattern of a mini duo on each needle, then bringing my needles together, picking up another mini duo and going through both holes of the needle or both holes of that one mini duo, separating out the needles and adding another mini duo and adding an 11 O. Push that all down and you can see the pattern starting to take shape. So it's a nice simple one just to use some of these new beads. So I'm going to continue the whole length of this bracelet adding in my disc duos and my mini duos. Okay, so I'm at the end of my simple start design here, and what I'm going to do is create a loop to go through my cup button. So I'm just going to sit one of my needles down to the side, and I'm going to work ju with just one at the time. I'm coming out of my disc duo, and I have my O bead there on. I'm going to start to pick up my 11 O seed beads, and I'm going to pick up 25 of those, or 24 of those. And I'm just doing this again with one needle. Because we're coming back the project on the other side, I'm going to have an opportunity to reinforce the cup button, but we're going to reinforce this loop here after I add the seed beads with the second needle that's sitting down on the side. If you're using a different clasp or closure, you would add that now. If you are using a metal clasp, I would recommend using a wire protector. I use the buttons because we designed them, but also because I find that they're really easy to get on and off and you don't have to worry about metal allergies either, which is great. I'm going to go through my disc duo then with that same needle. I'm going through the O bead and through the disc duo, coming out the O bead on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side then, and I'm going to basically reinforce that whole loop that I've created here, taking my needle back through all of those seed beads. And then I'm going to bring it down the other side and out the O bead that is at the base of the other hole of the disc duo. So going through the first O bead, the first disc duo, and coming out that disc duo there. And I'm doing that just so I can really kind of get some leverage and pull. Your needles then will be coming out of either side here of your O bead. You want to pull both sides because you want uh, that loop to be tight. You don't want a lot of extra thread to be showing. And then we're going to get ready to decorate our sides. So I've tightened up that project and then I actually brought my needles back coming out of the first of my O beads. Um, it's hard to tighten unless you actually go through the disc duo. So I went through, tightened it, and then pulled them back out to be coming out of my uh, first O bead there. And what I'm going to do is decorate the side. So make a little pile of your 15s so that way you can get ready to decorate the sides and just to add a little bit on the sides. I'm going to do everything with the right needle and then also once I'm done the right side I'm going to do a couple passes with that and then we're going to do the left needle as well. To start out we're going to again just pick one needle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 15 O in that silver lined crystal my 11 O and my 15 O. Those three beads are going to work to decorate the sides of my disc duo and I'm going to sew into my next 
OB. When you're sewing in, you want to try to make sure that your thread is on the outside of the previous thread. And that's just going to decorate that side there. In between then, here, I'm going to add two of my 11 OC beads and sew through both outer holes of my mini duos at the same time. That's going to create a little diamond shape in there. Two more 11 O's go on and I pick up the next O bead in line. When I'm on the sides of my disc duo, I'm always adding my 15, my 11, and my 15 and sewing through the next of my O beads trying to keep to the outside of the O bead. That makes sure that it sits correctly. I'm going to do this on the right side and the left side. And again, this is just one of those simple bracelets that you can make quickly, wear every day. And of course, I just had to change up the design just a little bit from the original design by Valerie. And switch up supplies. We just got the disc duos in, so I'm using those instead. And we're just going to continue on going the whole way down the side, adding a little bit of shine with those silver lined 15 O's, as well as the 11 O's in the Crystal Labrador. So I'm right at the end of my project here, and I'm giving kind of tight pulls to each side. You can see it fits really nicely and kind of designs up the sides of this really simple bracelet. As I'm getting ready to finish it off, the colors that I've chosen are for that fall tones that you really can wear, whether or not you're wearing black or white. And I've gotten through the one whole side, and on the other side, I'm actually running a little bit out of thread. So what I'm gonna do is coming out here, I'm going to take my needle and thread that's on the opposite side, reinforce my clasp going up through my seed beads, through my mini duo, down the other side. And you should have a little bit more thread than I do because I generally have a little bit less than I tell you to cut so that way I can stay in frame a little bit better. And then here on the other side, I'm going to try to push so I can get this finished here with this same thread. I have my last little design here to do. And I'm going to sew through my beads, up through my clasp, and when the two beads meet, or two threads meet, then I am going to tie off the thread. I don't want to tie off there at the top, so what I'm going to do is force the thread down so that way I can tie off behind the clasp. Once I have my um, thread through and I have it there at the base of the project and I'm going through and actually tying off, I'm going to use a little bit of glue to tie that knot and to finish up the project here. If you ever do need to get threads out, like this one here, I want to pull back through down to the base. You can use your needle once you take it off as a good reference point to get in there, separate out some of those threads and see which one you actually need to pull in order to pull out your thread. That works the best whenever you get knots or tangles. What I'm going to do when I have those two threads again next to one another is just simply tie knots and then trim them down and glue the ends. If you want to, you can thread the ends back through the project that's up to you. Then you have that nice, simple, completed bracelet using those um, disc duos that are brand new. And again, I picked colors so that way for the fall, unfortunately, that is coming. But this is one of those that you can wear and it'll match with everything that you are wearing because it has that gray and brown and black. And then I wear a lot of silver, so I have the silver going on with it as well. 
So hopefully you guys get a chance to pick up some of the mini duos, play with those, play with some of the um, disc duos, and just really get a variety of products into your bracelet. It makes it more unique and makes it a little bit more intriguing when you have all those different shapes going on together. When you're looking at this too, you could switch it for the um, regular super duos like Val had created. It's just going to require a little bit more seed beads in order to get that um, to fit. So thanks a lot for watching. If you do like the bracelet and like the design, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get regular updates then when we do videos and product spotlights. If you need any of the materials, you can visit us at PotomacBeads.com. Check out our locations page and visit a Potomac bead near you. If you can't get to one of our stores, you can always shop right there online and we'll ship it to you. If you need product details for what was used in this video, you can go underneath the video in the details in the show more and that'll give you links to all the different products that were used in the video. Thanks a lot for watching everyone and have fun and happy beading. Thank you.